Hi, my name is Christina. I'm a Ukrainian photographer. I moved to the Netherlands uh, four years ago and I fell in love with Amsterdam through photography. I will be sharing some of my favorite places in the city. It's going to be an alternative guide to Amsterdam. I really like the lifestyle in the city and it's one of the cities where you actually feel that it's your city, it belongs to you. Uh, so this is the pipe, uh, it's a really great area for quick bites of drinks, for coffee. We are in a Burris Passage, it looks like an ordinary uh, passage, but if you look up you will see the beautiful tiles. You can actually pass and not even notice, but it's a real hidden gem. If you are coming from the outside and want to shoot the indoor, you probably need to focus on a wider aperture so you can let in the light as much as possible. Andy's and Wharf is a former shipyard and now uh, it's a cultural hotspot. For an alternative dining experience, head to Rem Island. It's an offshore platform that's been transformed into a modern restaurant. To create something unique, you want to take a picture not from the ordinary angle, like closer to the ground or all the way up, flip the screen so it's easier to see what you're actually taking pictures of. Not many people know that half an hour from Amsterdam is this. So when you have a camera, you basically have a mission to capture something unique for yourself, to share with someone. So it helps you to discover interesting ways, interesting streets, and something that you would normally wouldn't see. The Westergast Fabrik is a former uh, gaswork factory, and uh, nowadays it's a cultural venue. When you go to Prinsen Island, you can uh, uh, find some beautiful bridges there. You can check a uh, Krombomslot Street, usually curved for uh, typical straight Dutch canals. This is a Python bridge. It's not really the typical Amsterdam bridge, but it's one of my favorite locations, especially because it's uh, not so well known. I like that it's not ordinary. It's not so bad to underexpose pictures sometimes, because then you'll capture light in the sky, so it's like the sky, you will see the clouds, and then you can correct it in the post-processing. This is a public library from the outside, pretty ordinary building. And on the top floor, you have this uh, great viewpoint. Because of stabilization in the camera, you can, for example, move your shutter speed to 1 20th of a second and still get a sharp shot. The Sony RX100 Mark VI, it's really great for the street photography and it captures uh, low-light situations in the city perfectly and it just fits in your pocket. It's a perfect travel companion. I know that every picture we take will never be the same. It's that unique moment and that unique picture. Mm -hmm.